who had other duties out of the country. And a lot has been said by the previous speakers, a lot of content, including a summary of what we are doing at the county governments. But in the meantime, the theme for this three-day industrialization conference, which is accelerating Africa continental free trade area, implementation through value chain integration for shared prosperity. As the Africa free trade agenda continues to take shape, Kenya has a chance to offer her favorable credentials as Africa's manufacturing hub and of choice. Ladies and gentlemen, the time for Kenya as well as the rest of Africa to create a strong manufacturing culture replete with well thought out support systems and mechanisms has come. Once a strong national manufacturing culture and foundation are in place, Kenya will maximize her industrial output in multiple facets of production and value addition of locally manufactured goods. Focus on strategic value chains will, in turn, lead to improved economic outcomes and eventuality most welcome throughout the continent, not just in Kenya. Concerning the future of industrialization in Africa in general, and in Kenya in particular, I am encouraged by the resolve made by the EU Conference of Ministers on their first extraordinary session held in September 2007 in South Africa. The action plan for the accelerated industrial development of Africa agreed upon during that meeting was recently adopted by the East African community and incorporated in the draft ESC industrialization policy and strategy whose adoption by the ESC summit is expected very soon before the end of this year. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth medium term plan, it is anticipated that manufacturing will gain further impetus from opportunities provided by the AU Agenda 2063, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, Kenya Vision 2030, ESC industrialization policy and strategy, and the UN Agenda 2030 on sustainable development goals and equitable economic development in the spirit of leaving no one behind. The inclusivity intimated here blends perfectly with the Kenya Kwanzaa administration's commitment to deliver on the ideas of the bottom-up transformation agenda, which is the plan. During the period, the manufacturing sector aims at increasing the contribution of Kenya's GDP from 7.2% to a minimum of 15%, and like the principal secretary has said, we have seen the contribution by the manufacturing sector to GDP decline. But starting now, we must come up with strategies and policies and actions that will improve this situation for the well-being of our people and the growth of the country. It also targets increasing the competitiveness of goods manufactured in the country 
the level of domestic and foreign investments, and the volume of goods manufactured in Kenya for export, over and above creating over one million additional jobs annually. That may sound ambitious, but I am persuaded that if we all put our minds to it, the plan will see the light of day sooner than later. Ladies and gentlemen, as we inch closer to our industrialization dream, both national and county governments are pushing towards an integrated and sustainable industrial development pathway targeting adoption of cleaner production technologies and resource efficiency. Besides, every effort ought to be made to embrace best global manufacturing practices and waste disposal. As Kenya, and as we strive to implement the ideas of Vision 2030, anchored on industrialization as the key to a middle-income economy with a high quality of life for all its citizens, by the year 2030, the following four imperatives are critical. Number one, availability of quality, reliable, and affordable energy, availability of appropriate technologies for industrialization, availability of skilled workforce, and finally, availability of finance for industrial development. To put the four in place, concerted efforts by multiple stakeholders represented in this event today is important. Only then will it be possible to unlock the immense potential of Kenya's manufacturing sector for the good of all. My ministry will make every effort to improve the operating environment for manufacturing to thrive in Kenya. The national government will collaborate closely with the county governments, with the private sector, and development partners to deliver on this promise. Deliberate strategies will be implemented towards attracting more domestic and high-impact foreign direct investments to inject capital, expertise, and technological advancement that will ultimately culminate in a growth trajectory for our economy. While at it, the government will also ensure that policy, legal, institutional, and regulatory frameworks are more responsive to the needs of unfolding circumstances that are germane to Kenya's desired industrial transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I call upon our local manufacturers to embrace globally acclaimed sustainable industrial practices, starting with renewable energy, which we have in abundance in the country, and may this conference mark the point of departure that will in turn kickstart a fresh industrial journey for Kenya, and may the outlook thereafter become the center pole of Kenya's sustainable economic prosperity into the foreseeable future. As I wish the participants a fulfilling experience during the three-day conference, I do have a clarion call and a call to action that we come up with implement implementable resolutions that will kickstart 
that will renew our industrialization policies and that will be of great benefit to this country's economic growth. I'm happy to note that we have all categories of manufacturers represented. We do have the big manufacturers, the medium, the small. We have the counties represented. We have women in manufacturing and the youth. And for sure, this conference is not in vain. And at the end of the three days, we will be up here reading out the resolutions that will renew our resolve in support of industrialization. I thank you all and wish you fruitful deliberations. Asante sana. Thank you, CS. Let's appreciate her once more time. CS, before you leave. CS needs to declare the conference officially open, so please just come and uh, make that declaration. And now, I declare the Industrialization Conference in Kenya 2023 officially opened. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, CS Rebecca Miano Asante Sana, for your keynote remarks. We truly appreciate the guidance that you have given us in terms of the expectations and some of the outcomes which we should be focusing on as we start this very critical three days journey. We are going to a very uh, critical segment of the program where we shall have the CS and the keynote guests do some visits to the exhibitions which are just stationed right outside here. I believe there's a team from the ministry which will be guiding on how that is done. For the rest of us, I'd like us to remain seated because we uh, have uh, a choir with us. We also have the police choir with us. We shall be getting some entertainment as we wait for the next session, which kicks off at quarter past 12. So we have about an hour for this. So um, CS and team, you will be shown to the exhibition centers where you'll be able to sample some of the works which are being done by...